Hi guys, today we are going to be unboxing and performance testing a portable SSD T7? Yeah. Yes, I got it right. Alright, I'm going to turn it over to my daddy. Thank you, Graham. Alright. Hey everybody, um, yep, you heard it, we are going to unbox uh, and do some performance testing of Samsung's latest uh, SSD portable hard drive. Uh, it's the T7. This comes in two versions. Uh, the first one that was released was actually the touch version. It had a fingerprint sensor uh, in, built in uh, to the case. Uh, this one is the regular non-touch version, so uh, it is just a um, password protected SSD, no fingerprint reader. Uh, so one of the big differences between the T7 and Samsung's previous model, the T5, uh, is really some uh, performance gains. Uh, the T5 uses an NVMe uh, SSD drive, uh, and so the speeds, the theoretical speeds at least, are going to be considerably higher than uh, Samsung's T5 uh, and, uh, and even uh, their uh, older model, the T3. Uh, they actually claim that uh, you can get up to 1,050 megabits per second read speeds and about 1,000 megabits per second write. Uh, and that's assuming that you are using uh, the latest uh, USB 3.2 uh, generation 2 uh, ports. Um, now, the, we mentioned a little bit the non-touch version does have uh, hardware encryption built into it. Uh, and it's got an uh, AES 256-bit uh, encryption. So the software for that is actually built into a read-only partition on the drive. So assuming you enable that in the settings and then plug it into a random computer, iPad, whatever source uh, you, you plug it into, uh, it's going to pop up with that read-only partition that has the installation software for Samsung software to decrypt and actually gain access to the rest of the drive, um, which is, is pretty nice. You don't have to worry about uh, going to Samsung's website to downloading it that is uh, built into the drive itself. Um, other thing, other features of the uh, T7, uh, it's got drop protection, they uh, say up to two meters. Um, it is metal, so you're going to have some exterior scratches if you do drop it, uh, but the actual function of the drive should be protected. Uh, and it's um, relatively small, um, weighs about two ounces. Uh, we're going to go over a little bit of that once we, uh, once we unbox it. All right. Uh, and then once we do open it up, uh, I'm going to do some performance testing uh, on um, a couple different uh, computers, comparing it uh, to my actual, my old SSD, Samsung's uh, T3, um, two models old, and this is the 250 gigabyte uh, drive, and we're uh, going to be testing out the uh, uh, two terabyte drive. So uh, one last thing before we uh, get into the box, uh, I do want to thank uh, the Insiders Network for uh, providing this uh, product to me for testing and reviewing. Um, if you're interested at all in um, product testing and reviews, you can, you can uh, go to the Insiders Network uh, webpage, theinsidersnet.com, uh, and sign up to be a tester. All right, so let's open the box. Here is the actual drive. Um, it is pretty small, about the size of a credit card. Um, the actual dimensions are on the box 85 millimeters by 57 millimeters by 8 millimeters thick uh, and weighs 58 grams. And just to kind of give you a comparison uh, between the T7 and the T3, we've got, it looks like maybe slightly smaller in width a little bit longer and definitely thinner and then 
Deeper in the box, we've got some cables. Samsung is going to provide us uh, with two cables. One is a USB-A to USB-C cable, uh, and then uh, the second one is going to be a USB-C to C. Um, anybody with uh, more recent hardware is going to be taking advantage of the, the C to C connection, uh, but it's nice that they also include the um, A to C. And uh, we've got about maybe 15 uh, inches worth of cable here. Um, seems pretty, pretty thick and durable. And then uh, the instruction manual. So that is pretty it, pretty bare bones as far as packaging goes. Uh, so now what we're going to do is hook it up to the computer and uh, do a little bit of testing. This is what happens when you plug in the T7 into a computer that you haven't used before. All right, this is that read-only partition that you get. Um, and you can see it comes with uh, the setup installation file for Windows, Mac, and then it uh, looks like a text file for Android. It, uh, actually, for Android, you do have to go to the website uh, for instructions on how to download the app for Android devices. Uh, but let's go ahead and install, do the setup program. Very quick and easy. And for right now, we're going to do security mode off so we can test the speed of the device, read and write, without any encryption. All right, and there's no updates. Great. So, um, as you can see right here, we've got the T7 installed, and I'm going to go ahead and open Crystal Disk Mark software. We're going to be using a one gigabyte test file initially, and here is uh, the start of the test. So the results that we got uh, were on the sequential test, which is going to be your, your fastest uh, read and write times. Uh, we got 822 uh, megabits per second read and 666 megabits per second write, uh, which is a little bit less than the uh, maximum speeds uh, stated on, uh, from Samsung. And this is connected uh, using the USB C to C connection uh, to a desktop computer. The next test is going to compare this to the T3. So I'm just going to unplug the T7 and plug in the T3. All right, and we're going to test that again. You can see the uh, speeds here are considerably slower, 450 megabits per second read, uh, 369 write. And again, this is using the USB-C to C uh, on a, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 uh, port. And finally, just for fun, we're going to do the same test on my uh, SSD drive, main drive in the computer. This is a Sabrent Rocket uh, PCIe uh, Generation 4 drive, so this is going to be extremely fast.
And here the testing is complete. We've got 5011 read and 4267 write. So uh, definitely a speedy drive. Hi guys, thanks for watching and um, try to check out some of our other videos and like and subscribe and leave a comment below.
and um, give us some thoughts of what you thought about the SSD drive. Bye.